Recently, I came up with the perfect plan. I created a spreadsheet where I categorized everything within the log in different tiers of difficulty. I can now use this spreadsheet to generate random tasks based on which tier the account is progressed on. After 100% completion of each tier, I will move on to the next one until finally completing the elite tier. Hey guys, what's up? Quick one-time announcement before we start the episode. I know several people have asked me before about wanting to contribute more to the channel than just watching and subscribing, so I've decided to set up a Patreon page. For those that want to chime in a few bucks to support me and my videos, feel free to check it out. There will always be a link in the description and at the end of each video, but this will be the only time I specifically mention it at the start. With that out of the way, let's get started. In the previous episode of Generate Task, we finally managed to complete the first insane grind on the account by obtaining the Dark Mystic Head after almost 50 hours of Infernal Mages. We then got the task to obtain 5 uniques from Hard Clues and after a few steps on our first clue we now have to reach Awawagi to progress. Okay, so the first quest we have to do in order to get to Apatal is Tree Gnome Village. There we go, wasn't a hard quest at all of course, most people do this as one of the first on their account, but we got the orbs back from the Khazard Warlord and that gives us 11,450 attack XP which means level 44 now. Time to help King Narnode in the Gnome Stronghold with the Grand Tree quest. That's one dead black demon, see you later Glove. Wow, I think that's the first time ever in my life that I got the Daconia rock from the first route I check right next to the king. And that's the ground tree quest done as well, which gives us a nice chunk of XP once again, leaving us at 47 attack. Now we can actually start the monkey madness quest to eventually get to Awawogi. Now I don't have to complete the quest, all I have to do is get the Monkey Speak amulet and the Grigri and then I'll be able to reach Awawogi to progress my clue. Managed to get through the notorious tunnels for the first time, was fairly close because I only have two jugs of wine left, but we made it safe and sound. Time for some really scary content, we have to go down the trapdoor in the back of this temple to use the enchanted bar on the flames. But when going down we'll get stalled for a few ticks where we can take quite some damage from these zombie monkeys. Plus I have to walk by the monkey guards, which are also quite strong, so... Well, here goes nothing. Okay, we survived, we got the monkey speak amulet and now all we need is the Grigri. There's something so wrong about stealing this talisman from the poor monkey child. Okay, second run through the tunnels went a lot smoother than last time, got plenty of wine left this time around. And if we give Suknok the talisman and the monkey bones, we get a Grigri to turn ourselves into a monkey. And we can finally reach Awawagi for our clue scroll. We have made it into Awawagi's palace, if you could call it that. Time to find out if we can continue the clue scroll. Oh my god. <laughs> Elunet outside of Letia. Well, I guess that means we are not done questing yet, because for this we have to complete the underground pass and start regicide in order to reach the run win. Okay, so first I have to do Plague City, then Biohazard, and then I can do Underground Pass, and then finally I can start Regicide to enter the Elven Lands and reach Elunet. Plague City completed. And if I read this scroll, I can now use the Teleport to Ardy, which is of course very useful as well. And that is Biohazard completed. We now have 27 thieving and also 33 quest points, so that means from now on we are able to get champion scroll drops. Now it's time to do the main quest, which is of course Underground Pass. Current best in slot melee gloves upgraded with the clank's gauntlets that grant plus 2 melee strength. And that is Iben defeated once and for all. Back at King Latas to complete the quest. I don't think it gives me any levels, but that's fine. We now have the Iban's Blast, which I'll probably end up upgrading the staff before ever really using it, but I don't think it'll be necessary anytime soon. And now we just have to wait on the messenger to appear so that I can actually start Regicide. A few moments later. Ah, there he is. Let's go. We have reached Turtle Tail territory. Now it's time to find Elunet. 
Alright, we have made it to their campsite and they're actually here, so that's nice. Talk to Ellernet. The answer is 53,000. On to step number four. Please be an easy one. Okay, perfect. Just have to kill another Sarah Domin Wizard over at the Rock Raps. Sarah Domin Wizard down. Will we get our first casket on this step or not? Nope. What's the next step? Oh god, no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, after all this hard work, we have to drop this one on step number five. Which is of course rather unfortunate. Wow, literally like three kills after dropping the previous one and I already got a new hard clue. And I have to go to Crandor Island, so that means I have to start Dragon Slayer and get the different map pieces. Now I do have the quest points requirements, so it shouldn't take me long at all to get there. Oh yeah, in case you don't know, you can easily save spot Melzar around one of these crates. And the same goes for the lesser demon. We now have the full map of Crandor, time to set sail and do our clue scroll. Hey, we've made it. I went and unlocked the wall shortcut in the volcano so that I can come back very easily in the future. And now it's time to kill another Saradomin wizard. If you didn't notice with the previous wizard, I found out that if you trap him behind something and there's six tiles between you and the wizard, he won't actually attack you at all, so that's very useful right now considering I don't have protect from magic yet. Alright, the next step is King Percival in the Fisher Realm. Okay, so that means the Holy Grail quest. Okay, does this already work for the clue? Ah yeah, seems like it does, so we don't need to actually complete the, the quest, it seems, but considering we're at the very last step of picking up the grail and going to Camelot, I may as well go and complete it. Oh, and the next clue step... Ooh, <laughs> deep wilderness one, okay, spooky. First, let's quickly complete the quest, there we go. Ooh, 36 prayer and 45 defense, sweet. Just one level shy of protect from magic now. Okay, I guess we're prepared. I'm taking my wilderness sword to cut the web more easily. You know, just a quick in and out thing. Kill the wizard, get back out. Here we go. Oh my god, did you guys see that? There was a guy in a full black character trying to skull trick on the web. <laughs> I killed the wizard, but that was a pretty rough fight. Protect from magic is going to be very useful for these once I get it. But we did survive though, so that's great. And the next clue step is a very easy one. Okay, sweet. Step number four could be the casket. Do we get it? Nope. Step number five is undoable again due to the rune heraldic helm. God damn it. Back to the hellhounds we go. Clue number three. Oof, looks like we're going back to deep wildy. Before heading out, I picked up some better food from the Gnome, Gnome Stronghold. I think these heal 15 each, so it should help a little bit, but yeah, here we go. Wow, we took literally no damage at all from this guy. Pretty crazy compared to the last battle we had. Oh god, Wilderness again. Oh, and it's right at the Chaos Temple. That's such a hotspot for PKers. This is gonna be quite a journey. Okay, so far so good, new clue. Wait, is this gonna be a Wildy only clue or something? What the heck? This one's like right next to me as well. Third wizard down. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Level 46 wilderness, okay then. This better be the best clue reward ever. Okay, another clue and now we have to go to Varrock. All right, no more Wildy for now. The first time we get a doable step 5 as well, but I think I still need a chef set for this actually, because I need to enter the cook's guild. 60 goblin kills later and we got the chef set. Will this be our first casket? <sighs> Not yet, okay, but we can do this one and it's step 6, so a guaranteed casket coming in. Saradomin wizard down, let's see what our very first clue casket on the account will give us. Lots of useful gear upgrades possible. Here we go, give me that reward. Damn. No uniques, no range gear upgrades, but that's still a fairly decent casket, I'd say. 
160k for a hard glue ain't too bad at all. Level 73 range. This is probably the first time I have an account where range is my main combat style and I'm curious how high I will get it from this hard glue grind because we still have to kill a lot more hellhounds for this. Here we go again, the next wilderness clue. Alright, easy step in the Lumbridge basement now. Aw oh, damn. The Ring of Life and the Eddy two-handed sword aren't really a problem, but getting an uncharged Amulet of Glory isn't something I look to do at this stage of the account, so I'm just gonna drop this clue stroll. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Mithril Plate Legs, Rune X and the Ring of Life. I think the plan is pretty simple. I can buy the Mithril Plate Legs from the store in Alcarit, and then for the Ring of Life I need 43 crafting. I already have an Anka Diamond and a Gold Bar in the bank, so I just need a crafting level which should only take me like 900 glass into vials. Then for the Rune X, I think the fastest and most straightforward way is to just get 60 woodcutting. That will allow me to enter the woodcutting guild, for which I already have the required favor from the tide grind we did earlier, and I can then buy the Rune X in the store right there with the money I already have as well. The alternative way would be killing steel dragons for a 1 in 64 drop rate, but I don't see myself doing that right now without anti-fire potions nor protect from melee. I think with this inventory we should have enough buckets of sand and soda ash to get the 43 crafting we need. Yeah, there we go, about 900 of both, which we will turn into molten glass and then blow into vials. Okay, all of the molten glass made, we are now 33 crafting. Time to blow them into vials after I pick up a glass blowing pipe which I forgot to buy from the charters. Alrighty, 43 crafting. We can now cut diamonds and craft diamond rings, perfect. Still got a little bit of glass left but I'll just use these when I need some more crafting done. Now I can make the ring of life but first let's work on the 60 woodcutting as well. Ooh, that's the first time we get a mime show. Let's see if we can get an outfit piece. Okay, what did we get? Mime gloves and mime legs, perfect. Two more items for the random event step on the collection log. Okay, so I've made my way over to the chambers of Zarek because what I want to try out is scouting an ice demon room at the start of a raid and see what the woodcutting XP is like when chopping the saplings over there. Okay, that took long enough but we finally found an ice demon as the first room. Gonna spend some time woodcutting and we'll see what the XP rates are like. Okay, so it seems that this is pretty decent so far. I'm getting around 25k XP per hour right now. And it only goes up because once you hit certain levels, you get the chance of cutting more and more kindlings in one go. But it's also a lot of effort because you have to drop them all the time. It might be a bit better when you're combining it with lighting the braziers for some fire making XP as well. But that's not what we need right now, so I reckon I'm just going to do the rest of the woodcutting grind on the willows in Drainer Village to just AFK for a bit and bang some locks for future training. There's 40 woodcutting. 50 woodcutting, 10 more levels to go. Alright Quizmaster, give us something good in the box. <laughs> Nothing at all, are you kidding me? And that's 60 woodcutting done, we can now enter the woodcutting guild and buy the rune eggs we need. As for the loot, we got 3850 willows, 17 bird nests and some trivial loot from the nest as well. Trade Perry over here for the axe, it's quite expensive but it's all worth it. Mithril plate legs, check. And that's a diamond ring made which we can then enchant into a ring of life, perfect. Let's continue our clue. Easy. Easy. Easy enough. Another easy one. Yes boys, another casket. Will we get any uniques from our second heart clue casket? <gasps> Holy shit! Dragon boots, ornament kit, rune, heraldic shield and the magic short bow. That's insane! <laughs> Two uniques with one of them being required for other clues plus a massive upgrade for our range gear. This is exactly what we want from these caskets. Now we just need three more uniques to finish our task. 74 range and we also just got 65 hit points a bit earlier. Going much better now that I have the magic shortbow instead of the maple one. Okay here we go, another clue scroll. 
Brother Gojo in the clock tower. Okay, easy peasy. Just gonna run there, actually. The answer is 22. And the next step is a fairy ring CIS, which is... Ah, yeah, over at the Arceus library. We can easily get there as well. Okay, let's see. We now have to talk to Arnold Litspor, who is at the Piscatoris fishing colony. <laughs> oh boy, is that what I think it is? Oh god, do you know what this means? We now have to do the swan song quest. Look at those requirements, that is going to take us quite a while. But I do think we should do this, because the levels aren't necessarily too high to get. Sort of in line with other stats we'll get within the easy tier I'd say. And quest points are fairly easy to get early on, considering a lot of novice quests give quite some points. So it looks like our next journey will be completing the Swan Song quest. I'm going to leave that grind for the next episode though. But hey, considering we didn't get to complete any tasks today, maybe I should try and get two episodes out next week. What do you guys think? We'll see what happens. I'm not making any promises, but I hope you did enjoy and you better look forward to the next one because we've got some hefty grinds coming up. I'll be back next time and I hope you will be as well. So until then, take care.